Good day from Universal Studios Japan. We don't really have any specific agenda. It is still Golden Week, so we'll see how the crowds are. Yesterday they weren't very busy at all. Um, today it's looking a little more busy. It took about 10-15 minutes to get in just from the main gate. And the park has been open for a few hours now. There is a whole row of minions out right now. It's just funny how short these costumes are. And they have quite a bit of them. First snack of the day is going to be here at this temporary Detective Conan booth. And they have two options. I thought this was a churro, but it's actually a cookie. A cookie pie with milk and coffee. And we're getting the It's A Show Time bao bun, but it has truffle flavor filling. So it could be interesting. And there it is. All right, that bao bun was better than expected. It's pretty good. I went in with low expectations because we've learned the bao buns here usually look really awesome, but they're mostly bread and don't actually taste all that great. Yeah. Um, that one's pretty good though. Don't know if I'd get it again, but it was at, least good. It, at least the bread and filling ratio was somewhat. Yeah, there was good. actually a lot of filling in there and the truffle stood out. Hollywood Dream has a 70 minute wait and 80 minute for backdrop. So it looks like it's gonna be a pretty standard day as far as crowds go. In the Wizarding World, they have magical creatures out and available. I think there's like a Niffler over there. We tried doing it before, but it is usually very crowded. And as you can see, it's pretty busy in here today. Over here in front of the train station, there's a dragon. It's kind of cool. I've never seen this one before. There is quite a bit of seating in here right now. And they've changed up the menu recently. So we've got some new stuff here. This is the Irish stew set. I don't know if they've only changed it here or at the ones in the States too but you get a stew, some veggies, fries, bread, and a salad. So that's a that's pretty awesome. That's a good variety, and it looks somewhat healthy. Uh, treacle tart. This thing's really good. But they no longer have just a shepherd's pie. It used to be a shepherd's pie and a salad. Now you get corn and chicken with it. The food was all really good that we just had, but as we're walking to Hogwarts, if you look to the left, you used to be able to see Nintendo World, and you still can, but now you can see a uh, thing for Donkey Kong. A giant looking gorilla banana golden statue thing. I've always wanted to try one of these pizza danishes in the Amity section. I always forget, but they do have a new version here. Tuna mayonnaise and Sakura shrimp, which sounds pretty good, but they've always had the teriyaki chicken one. The Sesame Street characters are out and about, and they have Cookie Monster. I feel like I haven't seen him in a while. There goes Cookie Monster, off to find some more snacks. You can see that girl has a flush of it. Stepping into the Parkside Grill, one of our favorite places here in the park, for some dinner. We just ate at Parkside Grill, but I totally forgot to show what we ordered. Sarah got this lamb chop here. How was that? that you see here was like three of them. But that oh. was the perfect amount. Do they have a half size and full size? I didn't see one. Huh. But yeah, that was really good. Yeah, kind of interesting then, but they show a little more there. Really good. I try to bite it too, and then I always get the salmon every time we come here. Great restaurant though. Make sure you stop by, and even though today is really busy, we got in pretty much right away. Yeah. Walking back to the kids' area because we've never really explored this area, and it's really busy today. There's a cupcake shop. I wonder if that's just a meet and greet or if it's actually a cupcake shop. There was a sign at the cupcake shop saying closed, so maybe it is a real restaurant sometimes of the year. Sarah brought up a good point. Elmo's go-go skateboard and look at all the warnings to it. I don't know, I don't think I want to skateboard with Elmo. Yeah, he seems a little too extreme. I wonder if it's in here because this has been closed ever since I've been coming to the park. This is huge in here. It's kind of like the Snoopy soundstage area, which is currently closed, probably getting some work done. Wow. And you'll see over to the left, they've got like a climbing play thing. Oh, 10 year old me would have loved this. That ball pit looks so fun. Bubble bath themed. We got just random area where you can throw balls around. And there's even a Elmo water ride. We just saw one of them come up, and you can see another coming from back there. 
with the tiniest drop ever. I do want to point out that after seeing Cookie Monster around, I was really craving cookies, but they don't actually sell chocolate chip cookies anywhere, except for a little box you can get of tiny cookies, so I had to get some Cookie Monster cookies. For anyone who's been to Super Nintendo World, you can tell this is a very long line to get into the area. The umbrellas are where they actually check your code, and we're all the way back here. Probably the furthest back we've had to wait. In Super Nintendo World, you could already tell it's pretty busy, but what's really awesome is you can see, once again, Donkey Kong back there, and that goes really far back. I unfortunately can't zoom to get more detail on there, but it is really far back and it is going to be a pretty large land based off the looks of it. A whole lot of people in here tonight, but we at least got to hit a few blocks and we're going to go ahead and go back out into the park because this is probably the busiest we've seen it back here. Over in Jurassic Park, we're going to the Discovery restaurant because it's been rethemed as a Monster Hunter cafe. You can see the kitty cats. Oh yeah, the food. kitty cooks. Yeah, this is nice in here because there's a specific cake dessert that we're looking to get. Here's a look at some of the food items. That Arctic cake is what we're getting. It's a blueberry cake. Plenty of different meat platters. And then it's probably hard to see with the glare. The Mega Potion drink, honey and green apple. We might get that also. All right, and here is the Monster Hunter Arctic blueberry cake. This thing looks awesome. That is so cool. It has like sparkly wings. And here is the potion drink, which also looks very cool. It has like little seeds on top. So here's something pretty wild they have. It's an AR thing where you scan the dish you got for Monster Hunter. And once you get it close enough, there we go. It'll actually activate a special little scene. So you'll see the dragons there. And it will interact with the table and it has like AR 3D motion so if you move the dessert around go ahead and move it around it'll move the whole scene back in the New York area we're gonna check out the Detective Conan show pretty long wait at the moment but we need to see inside the former Cyberdyne systems and here we are walking through the old T2 ride and it looks like the queue goes up way over there as well this hits right in the nostalgia walking in here. And you can see up there is where Kimberly Duncan would talk about how great Skynet is. This is so cool. Here it is. The old T2 theater. Not too sure what was going on with the show because it's only in Japanese. But stepping out of the theater, they have this backdraft fire truck, which I don't think I've ever seen here before. Kind of neat that they have this. This is some cool little information that they have because this is actually imported from the U.S. for the grand opening back in 2001, which is the year the park opened. That's awesome. It's always nice to see them pay tribute to some of the older attractions, which is funny because we saw no references to T2 or any Easter eggs in the Conan show. And they took out the statue in the gift store. Yeah, good point. In the gift store, they always had a uh, endoskeleton, but it's gone now too. It's actually quite empty here in Hogsmeade now, so much so that the conductor is asking people if they want pictures taken. Gotta do a last stop in Honeydukes to get some sweets. Yeah, what all were you getting? Love potion, some exploding bonbons. Love potion, these are pretty good. They're just little hard rose flavored candies. These are always a good classic. Exploding bonbons, but I think, I always forget, I think they're a little different here. Because this one says Universal Studios Japan. And I think the coating is different than the one in the States. These look quite good. They're butterbeer flavored cookies. And you can see there's like some cream on the inside. And let me check, this is a tin. It says Universal Studios Japan on it, so I think you can only get them here. Here's another one that I think is new, Peppermint Toads. They're dark chocolate mint toads. This one also says Japan. These are great though because 
they're really tiny, so they're a lot more manageable to eat than the big solid chunk of chocolate. One thing about the Japanese theme parks is they never really have bakery counters. However, in here, they have Swiss rolls. They have green ones and pink ones. Earlier today when we came in, these green ones were sold out. You can see the sign there, but they had these available, but now you'll see they are sold out as well. And they come in these boxes here. All right, that is going to do it for Universal Studios Japan. Did you have fun today? I had fun today, yeah. Yeah, pretty long day. Um, got to do some new stuff. We, I don't think I recorded it, but the Universal Monster Show, uh, Rock Show, the Sing Show was new. Yeah. Um, Detective Conan, that was all right. Mostly it was just fun to see old Cyberdyne. And, it wasn't Terminator. <laughs> and what used to be, yeah. yeah. Um, what else did we uh, A lot of good food today. Yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> Monster Hunter stuff was oh, pretty good. Oh, Monster Hunter really cake cool. was so good. Jeez, we have so much food today. I'm trying to remember what yeah. Yeah, Parkside Grill, that was great as always. Love that place. Um, yeah, excited to come back though. So pretty busy right now. It is Golden Week. The crowds are picking up. Yesterday wasn't bad, but I expect it to be pretty rough for the rest of the week. So that is going to do it. Thank you all for watching. The caravan is moving on.